Hey guys, Howard here with uh, Melissa by the Almond Brothers. I've been doing a couple of acoustic ones back to back this morning. I did uh, George Harrison's Dark Horse earlier. And uh, so let's get into this, okay? It's got some great chords in it. It's a really nice chord progression and the, uh, the bridge is really sweet as well. So I'll just put the chords up on the screen and then explain what I'm doing uh, strumming wise, okay? So the very first chord is a standard E major. <laughs> And the strumming pattern, which you hear right out the gate on the recording, is down, 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 up, down, up, down. And it's got a nice little swing to it. Right? And then we change to the next chord, and for simplicity, I'm just going to refer to this as an F sharp minor. If you're theoretically minded, <laughs> you can get into this and call it something else. But we'll just refer to it as an F sharp minor for now. And you can see the chord up on the screen, and then we're going to carry that up a whole step, and we'll refer to that as a G sharp minor, okay? So we're going to move from the E to the F sharp minor, to the G sharp minor, and back to the F sharp minor, all with that strumming pattern on each chord. And you're going to play that twice right out the gate, okay? One time just instrumentally, the second time the vocal comes in, and then you're going to go for it a third time, but you'll jump off of the second chord. You'll jump off of the F sharp minor straight to an A major chord, which you can play any way you'd like. And that's going to be just basically two down strokes, although you can upstroke as you make your way through each of these chords in the progression, okay? But we're going to move from an A to a B minor 7th. You can play a straight B minor if you want, but I think the minor 7th kind of captures uh, the sound and mood of the recording a little bit better. So we've got A, B minor 7th, C sharp minor 7th, to D. So we will approach it like this. And then we go back to the E chord, F sharp minor 7th again, or F sharp minor, excuse me again, G sharp minor. So going over that again, we've got A, B minor 7th, C sharp minor 7th, D major, E major again, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, okay? We finally land on an A or an A sus2 if you want because that B string, that open B string is in there. It's like an A bar chord. This is the way I like to play it anyway. I think it sounds nice and full on a solo acoustic guitar, but you just don't bar. Don't bar like that. Just tip of your finger. Kind of a sweet sounding chord. And by grabbing that bass note, it really sounds full at the end of that uh, chord progression. In, right so after the uh, a the a sus2 I went to a C major seventh which is really cool right there and uh, you can see the chord on the screen and I went back basically to the strumming that we started out with down 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 up down up down and then a B7 you can use a regular B chord if you want to but I like to use that B7 because it just sounds kind of cool and bluesy to me okay so again that whole bit is you'll do 
all of that again, okay? Now, at the end of the second go around, where you play the C major seventh into the B7 and just let it rest, um, you go back to the chord progression and then we're gonna jump off and go into the bridge. So this would be the end of the second go around. into the regular chord progression. So uh, you can basically use the same strumming uh, for this bridge section, but uh, kind of mix it up if you can. Just keep your wrist loose, as I always say, and get a lot of ghost notes in there. But we're moving from uh, an E major chord to a D major to an A to a B. C sharp minor seventh, back to A, and then B and a B suspended four. Taking your pinky on and off the fifth fret on the B string, and you can just do solid down strokes for that. And you're back in. so forth and so on and then at the tail end of uh, the last section where you come off of the C major seventh again to the B7 you're gonna head back to the chord progression play the second chord and then loop it back around and play the C major seventh to the B seventh again so uh, that section will go like this it you kind of loop it back around and hit that C major seventh and B seventh twice so there you go with Melissa I hope you enjoyed the lesson and uh, we'll see you soon <laughs>